Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. 762, coming at you with another banger. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys why I consider myself now part of the FN gang. That is not a cult. That is not a gang. That is just me personally being a heavy enthusiast on FN firearms. Previously, I was a Glock boy, but now I feel like I'm transitioning to more quality firearms, and I feel like FN is going to be the name for me. Got my first FN about two to three years ago and since then I've just been honestly doing a lot more uh, research on other FNs to get. I know which one is going to be coming up as well. I'm not going to tell you guys. I don't want to give you guys no sneak peeks or ruin anything. But we got another FN coming up real soon. Just to let you guys know and give you guys a heads up. But right now we got three and I'm going to go over my top three and tell you guys rate them from one, two, and three starting with one being my favorite and third being my least favorite. But even though Third is going to be my least favorite. It's still one of my most favorite firearms. I just got to put it in third place because I only have three FNs right now. So, you got to take that spot for some reason. But, without further ado, let's get into this video and show you guys that first FN that I have ever got. This right here, this FN was highly inspired by Call of Duty or Modern Warfare. Either or, if you guys were a gamer back in the day, me, myself, I consider myself no longer a gamer, a little bit of a retired gamer, but I definitely had a lot of fun and, uh, let's say, life experiences while I'm growing up playing games. So this firearm right here, definitely in the game, the game definitely influenced me getting this firearm in real life because I really did like the firearm. I liked the look of it and having one in real life, definitely a uh, feeling I wanted to have. So without further ado, let's show you guys this first FN I ever got. It's the FN57. Yes, sir. This is the FN57 Mark II. Everything is clean and clear. No magazine inserted. No bullets in the chamber. Let's turn the light, get a little better lighting in here for you guys. Shade, that shit bright. Let's turn this down a little bit. All right, I hope that makes this video a little, a little more physically and visually appealing for you guys. But like I was saying, the first firearm I ever got that was a FN was this FN 5.7 right here. Yes, sir. This is the Mark II. The Mark II has front serrations. And um, I think that's the only difference between the Mark II and the Mark I is that the Mark II has front serrations. So now you can easily rack the firearm from the front. They also do have a Mark III that is uh, optic cut, but I was honestly going for the most original look because like I said, I, I really want this gun because of my reminiscence of playing with it in Call of Duty. So me getting the Mark III would not be making me reminisce of the game at all. So I had to get the exact model that was in the game, which was this Mark II right here. If not, I honestly would've got that Mark III, but I honestly really am sold on the look of this Mark II. I just, I love the way it looked whenever my player was always holding this firearm like this, you know, that look, those irons, and just just the fire, the firearm overall, that 5.7 bullet, you know, is honestly a good round. It's, it shoots nice and flat, and I mean, I didn't really get it because of the round. That was an extra reason, but the real reason I got it was because of Call of Duty. It's definitely influenced me a lot to get this firearm, playing with it. When I was growing up, always using this firearm, it's one of the best side carries that you could use, so had to get one IRL. So this is the FN57. Like I said, this is the Mark II. We got a OLED on there. This is a Boulder Pro. I don't really like the OLED at all, but it def definitely helps add some weight to the front of the firearm. So, and I always like having some weapon model lights on all my carries. So for now, it's gonna have to do, I don't know, I might change it in the future, but I like the way this is quick on and off. I know a lot of people don't like OLEDs, but nevertheless, they definitely do get the job done. This is chambered in 5.7, like I was telling you guys, like with the little, basically AR bullets right there in a little magazine so that's pretty nice this is a 20 round magazine this is a stock 20 round magazine I have a 30 round magazine which which is YouTube compliant and it is extended and then I also have a 55 round magazine that is YouTube compliant as well but that one isn't a magazine that one is actually a drum and let's show you guys that right now all right now we got the YouTube compliant 55 round drum, yes sir. This is for the FN57. This right here is a pretty expensive mag. I don't know if you guys know, but 5.7 bullets. This one right here specifically, this is the SS uh, SF198LF, I believe. These are uh, 
soft body armor piercing um, rounds. These are about two to three dollars a bullet. So can you just do the math? Fifty-five times three. That's about a hundred and fifty bucks, man. And this this little. Not this little because it's 55, but just this little thing right here is 150 bucks. And that's not even the price of the mag at all. The mic the mag is an extra 150 bucks. So this is like a three hundred dollar mag right here. I'm going bankrupt right here. This is why I haven't used this. I don't shoot this thing at all. I just keep this thing loaded up just for honestly. I would use it for a home defense situation, but now I got a lot better home defense firearms, so I don't keep this loaded at all. I just honestly keep it loaded up just for looks. It's like having something in a museum, you know? Just something you have, you know? But, yet, like I said, this is the FN57 55 round YouTube compliant magazine. That's how it looks right there, if you guys are interested. It's definitely a little bit extra, but I mean, for home defense, extra is all you need. So, get into the next firearm. One of my, this is my number one, obviously. This is my favorite firearm, the F57, the bullet, the uh, memories that I have behind it. You know, this firearm is one of my favorite firearms. This got me into the FN world. This was the first one I got, and this is the, honestly the top one on my list, and that's why it was my first one I got. Now, let's go into number two. This was the last firearm that I got, but recently I figured out why I like this one the most out of my other firearm that I have, which I'm gonna show you guys in number three. But this one is the FN 509 Compact Tactical. Yes, sir. Chambered in 9mm. 9mm. It's the FN 509 Compact Tactical. It's nice and compact. Uh, Four slide serrations. Tactical means that it has the uh, threaded barrel. It has the optic cut. It has the uh, um, M block or a Picatinny rail on the bottom. Then it also has some extra back straps on the bottom. I switch it out for the uh, flat uh, 1911 style back strap so it could be as flush as possible. Get that nice clean grip angle. And yeah, that's about it. This one is trigger, definitely needs to be changed out. I'm definitely gonna invest into some Apex triggers in the future because this trigger is not one of the best triggers in the firearm or carry world, but it could definitely get the job done still. Let's show you guys what that trigger is looking like. It's a little gritty. It feels like it might have some sand in there or something like that. So that's honestly the only reason I have a problem with this trigger. Besides that, the pull is not that bad and the brake is flawless. But take a look at it. So this is the... I don't know if you guys hear that. But it definitely got some, some sound in there. It got like a lot of... It's not smooth at all. It's like a little rigidy. But this is the wall. And then let's see the brake. Clean brake. Let's see the reset. Yes, yeah, sir. Got a pretty greedy reset. It's not that bad, but the grease is definitely a little bit gritty too. But like I said, this is definitely a firearm that I know I gotta ha have to upgrade the trigger in, in the future or in the near future. Uh, I'm just honestly scared of doing it because I know a lot of people who are doing the Apex triggers on their FN 509 compacts and their tacticals, they're having trouble and they're breaking their frames and you know, I don't honestly want to damage my frame. So I'm gonna try to find a local gunsmith that's really confident on doing that and then I'm gonna buy those two Apex triggers and I'm gonna send them to him so they can drop them in for me. Because this trigger is definitely the only reason why I tend not to carry this firearm a lot on everyday situations because I have better triggers. Glock's triggers, sadly, are a little bit better outside the box, but this firearm overall is a pretty nice firearm. I feel like it definitely has a lot more included than a Glock, but that trigger kind of just is holding it back. So that's definitely an upgrade that I know I'm gonna have to throw in there real soon. But once again, this is the FN 509 Compact Tactical, and this is number two on my list. There's a real big reason why this is number two on my list, but I don't want to spoil it right now. Got those upgrades coming in the, in the mail at the moment. So I'll make another video so you guys can tune in and see why this FN 509 Compact Tactical is my favorite. Because if you guys didn't know, number three. Everything clean and clear. We got a tactical right here. Yes, sir. This is the compact tactical, and then we got the tactical. Yes, sir. We got, we got them all. This is the FN 509 tactical. This is gonna go in third place. It's the FDE model, uh, chambered in nine mil. All the same things with it being tactical. It got the threaded barrel, the irons ready, uh, iron cut. Got the rail there, and it's just the only thing that's different is that this is the full size model. As you guys can see, the grip difference. Let's do a little side by side for you guys. 
This is the um, grip difference on the FN509 Tactical, and then this is the grip difference on the Compact Tactical. So you guys can see this is a lot more compact, and this one holds 12, this one holds 17. I feel like as far as weight, they def they're definitely about the same weight, even though this one is a little bit smaller, but this is definitely like more of a light day carry, like on the summertime and stuff like that. And this is more of like a wintertime carry, full size carry. So that's number three, the FN 509 Tactical in the FDE. Don't really got too much to go over on this one because like I said, I already got a compact tactical. That's basically the same thing, just a little bit smaller. Uh, the barrel's a little slightly smaller. I think about by a half, a half of half of an inch, like a quarter of an inch. It's smaller by a quarter of an inch. And then also, um, obviously the grip length's a little bit bigger on the, the tactical, the full size. But this one is definitely a nice flat shooter. I once again got the back straps twitched out for the 1911 style back strap. So you get that nice smooth grip angle. Then we got a Hollow Sun. This is a 407C X2. We got this one technically for free. Bought another firearm and it came on it. And now I got this one on here. Uh, that's, that's about it, yeah. This firearm, only reason I don't carry it is because I need to get a holster. I don't believe in carrying your firearms in your pockets. This is a little bit like an unprofessional way to be carrying a firearm. I feel like you should never have your firearm in your pocket. You know, you can always accidentally pull a trigger. And then also, this isn't the most um, obtainable way to carry your firearm. This is a lot faster. This is, you gotta all oh, jiggle in your pocket. You might have something else in your pocket. You know, this isn't a safe way to carry your firearm. So that's one of the main reasons why I don't carry this firearm at the moment, because I do need to get a holster for it. But as soon as I get a holster for it, I'm gonna definitely be rocking this bad boy a lot more often because this is a nice firearm. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys comment down below what order would you have put these three firearms in? The FN57, the FN509 Compact Tactical, and the FN509 Tactical. Let me know what order you would have put it in. Let me know if our order was satisfying for you guys. If you guys feel like you would have put in the same order as me. If you guys want to switch the order up from one to three as your favorite to most on um, to least favorite, make sure you comment that order down below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. FN gang, we out of here. Peace.